Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. The level of support Wrath of the Righteous continues to receive from Alcat has continued to be absolutely outstanding. I was sure after Dance of Mass, it was going to be finished and they were probably all going to move on to another game. But it seems like the support of Dance of Mass has really kind of reinvigorated the team. And so they decided to do some additional DLC. Of course, we've got the Children of Mortals one that I mentioned earlier. And now we've got a brand new free DLC here. And of course, we're still going to get that update to the Gold Dragon Mythic Path that I talked about in an earlier video. In this video, we'll talk about Alcat's newest update, which is mythic changes to the way weather works in Dresden. So for each mythic path, you're now going to see different weather that will be consistent with the mythic path you have chosen, and the Sword of Valor has been updated in some really cool ways to be consistent with your mythic path as well. I have already seen the updates for Angel, Gold Dragon, and Devil, but all the other paths I have not seen yet. So I'm actually going to do a live reaction with you all, telling you my thoughts on the spot while seeing what it is that Alcat has done. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, first, let's go through the ones that I've already uh, done before. So uh, we'll start with Angel. Angel, the weather effects now is going to just be holy light everywhere you can look. In fact, we'll go up here. So you could get a better sense of it, but it basically bathes all of Dresden in holy light. And I think it's a really, really cool freaking looking effect. I don't know if this weather effect activates in Act 3 or Act 5 when you've done your full transformation. And then if you head out here, we can see the full change of the Sword of Valor. And look at that. <laughs> far, far cry from what the Sword of Valor used to look like. It looks very similar to uh, Ioma Day symbol to me, honestly, with the sword coming down, except instead of the circle halo, it's got the angel wings on either side, uh, holy um, uh, fire and light going all through it. I think the update to Sword of Valor is absolutely fan. Fantastic. All right, next up on the list is Devil. So let's see what they have for the Devil Mythic Path. I've actually only seen the Sword of Valor. I haven't seen the weather effects yet. <laughs> oh, snap. So it like it bathes everything in a sea of red. And then you have these cinders floating around. Like you're literally in hell. Oh, that's super cool. Wow, that's awesome. That is, that's wild. That's wild. It, it, um, it used to be only Swarm that would bathe an entire area like this. The fact that all the Mythic Paths are going to be this way now, super cool. And I already know. Come on now. Come on now, come on. That new Sword of Valor is fantastic. Obviously, it's got the uh, chains, signifying you as someone who chains people into deals, making them your slaves, with the symbol of Asmodeus into that flag shining, in the middle of that flag shining bright. Really, really cool stuff. Again, I think this is a fantastic update to the Sword of Valor. And then the last one with a Sword of Valor that I've seen, Gold Dragon. Let's see what updates they've made here. I can't imagine what updates you could make to the weather effects for Gold Dragon that would feel consistent with the Mythic Path, but I assume they've come up with something. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a mist thing almost, like you're flying in the clouds. And I just saw a dragon fly past over there. That was pretty cool interesting so it's almost like you're surrounded by different dragons and they and they're trying to say you're kind of like up in the clouds that's cool that's interesting i don't think it's as impressive as the uh angel and devil versions um but it, it, it's uh it's interesting i'm also not quite as impressed with the sword of valor you gold dragon fans might be though 
Uh oh. Hey, you know what? While I was loading up Legend, I just realized actually I'm pretty sure I screwed up my Gold Dragon save and I ended up losing the Sword of Valor. That's why it wasn't up there. I haven't actually been able to reclaim it yet. So, but once again, you all should have seen a picture so that you get a, or even some footage if I can, that'll give you an idea of what it actually looks like. All right, unfortunately, I don't have a, a good save for Legend that's right in the war room. So we're gonna have to, we'll just step outside and then travel to the Sword of Valor. Legend is another one where I'm really curious, what weather effect can you put into place that's gonna feel consistent with a Legend path? In fact, maybe they didn't even put one in considering the fact that it's technically not a mythic path. Yeah, this looks just normal. This just looks like normal snow. I don't remember if I um, had the Sword of Valor for this one, so we'll have to see. This might be another one where, yeah, I think the Sword of Valor is missing. So I'll put a photo up here if um, there is a unique legend Sword of Valor. But if you don't see one, that means that just all the way around, legend doesn't get anything special in particular. All right, now let's get into one that I'm very, very excited for, Lich. I have not seen the weather effects or the Sword of Valor at all for this one. And I feel like they should have a lot of options for how you could make this very, very interesting. So let's see what Alcad has done. Nice. So it looks like they bathed it all in green light as opposed to the red light that you get with, um, with Devil. And you've got souls flying around. Interesting. So it's almost like they took the inside of your ziggurat and basically spread those effects all across uh, Dresden. I like this. I like this. This is a very, very interesting effect. Now, please, please, please tell me that I have a Sword of Valor here. Nope, I don't. So once again, I'll have to do a recording for you all and uh, show you what the uh, Sword of Valor looks like. Man, in my next playthrough, I'm going to definitely be much more careful about making sure <laughs> old boy who I can't stand stays alive so we can have our damn Sword of Valor. All right, now let's take a look at Demon. Again, I have no idea what the weather effects or Sword of Valor is like for this one. But similar to Lich, I feel like there should be plenty, plenty, plenty. Whoa. Oh, snap. It drowns all of Dresden in blood. Damn. That's sick. Wow, that's sick. I, I like that. I'm a fan of that. Damn. And with the demons hanging around everywhere, this looks amazing. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll record what the Sword of Valor looks like because unfortunately, um, I'm pretty sure I sacrificed him, to, uh, the guy, the Camellia in this run. But damn, the blood uh, and, and being around here everywhere and some of the leftover dead bodies from the good guys I took out. This is very effective. Very, very effective. All right, next up, I am the law. AI, a lot of fun. This is another one where I'm expecting some mysticism, something regarding space. They should have been able to put some really, really cool things into the environment for this mythic path. And just like, wow, it's like little constellations everywhere. Oh, dude, that's super cool. Wow, that's awesome. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And hey, looks like the Sword of Valor is actually sitting here for this one. So let's check it out. I can already tell I'm a fan of the way it looks, too. Yo, look at that. I'm a fan. I'm a big, big fan. Aeon is so freaking cool. 
the true Aeon ending, such a great way to play through the game. This is fantastic. Yeah, I, I, I'm definitely, definitely digging this. All right, next up is Swarm. Just in case you were wondering, I'm pretty sure Avu's uh, bones are sitting here somewhere. <laughs> All right, curious if they'll add anything different here because technically Swarm already kind of had weather effects. So not sure if they would jazz that up a little bit, but we're going to see in just a short moment. And wow, it feels like it's darker now than what it used to be but essentially it's still the same with huh or maybe i don't remember if that kind of stuff was there before like the webbings and the entrails that the swarm used to leave but but we'll see interesting interesting it doesn't look that much different to me from what swarm originally had which is fine because what swarm had was already awesome anyway uh, once again, I probably took out everybody who was good aligned, so of course we wouldn't have the Sword of Valor, but you should be seeing some footage right now that shows you what the Sword of Valor looks like. And then last, but certainly not least, we have Azada. Fun, fun, fun under the sun. I'm really curious what kind of fun, quirky, interesting things Alcat has added to the environment in order to match with this mythic path. I can't even imagine what they would do. Oh, you know what? This isn't the final one. We've got to look at Trickster. I completely forgot about Trickster. Oh, so they went the nature route. So they added little butterflies and flowers and uh, little things flying around. I guess that does actually match with the path, so I can't be mad at it. I, I don't find it to be all that interesting, but um it's not bad okay um and you should be seeing some footage now that shows you what the sword of valor looks like and the cool changes that alcat has made there all right now for real last but certainly not least we have the trickster similar to azada i'm expecting something fun and quirky a match with the mythic path. Ho 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 ho! That's all actually kind of cool. Oh wow! It's like it randomly explodes paint in different areas. I actually like that. That's actually that's fun. That's fun. That's actually kind of cool. Nice. It like explodes in paint and colors in random places across Dresden. That's awesome. Uh, as you all can see, I kill Horan on a very, very regular basis. <laughs> so unfortunately, I don't have the sort of uh, valor once again, but you should be seeing some footage of it. That should show you what are some fun things Alcat did to dress that up. And that's it. That's the video. That's all the Mythic Path weather and sort of valor changes that Alcat has added to the game. Once again, it's a free update. I think it's super, super cool. So definitely make sure you start play around with it. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it activates in Act 3 or Act 5. So if you're not in Act 5 yet and you don't see it, you might need to wait around for a little bit. But I think uh, it, it's really cool that Alcat added this for free. Looking forward to what else they do. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.